Hello. This next video is going to be a heart opening sequence. So you're gonna notice a little bit of back bending and you're gonna also notice that we're just really gonna try to pull our shoulders apart the whole time. So it's gonna offer you a different perspective of flowing. It's gonna give you some techniques if you tend to be tight in your chest or maybe you're just feeling kind of emotionally closed off. This helps open up the heart. So we're gonna start on our blocks first. If you don't have blocks, that's okay. You can always use pillows or you can fold up blankets to the height of blocks. So I'll let you go ahead and find your pillows or your blankets and then we'll get started shortly. So whether you grabbed your blocks or you grabbed your um, blankets or pillows, I want you to go ahead and turn on your mat. So what we're gonna try to do is put one block or blanket or pillow right at our upper back. And then the other block will go underneath our head. Again, blanket or pillow. And this should feel comfortable. So if you don't feel comfortable, then what I want you to do is elevate one of the blocks more, move on the blocks until you feel even. And you'll notice, I'll get my arm out of the way so you can kind of see where the block is sitting. From here, you can bend your knees and plant your feet. So if your hip flexors are tight, this is a great option. If you're feeling more open, you can have the feet together and open the knees to the side and bound angle. Or if you really want to, you can extend your legs all the way out. Totally up to you. I'm gonna keep my knees bent and let my knees touch. So that is gonna kind of relax my hip flexors all together, palms face up by my sides as I just kind of start to feel my heart open here in this supported back bend. So we're gonna take one minute here as we start to notice small changes in our body being elevated with these blocks. So your head should feel supported by one block. Some of us like to remove the block that's under our head. I suggest keeping it there at least to start. And then maybe you can remove it the second time we come here at the end of our practice. Some people start to notice that there's pain in their back here. So they kind of move on their back a little bit until it feels cozy. And then I want you to notice kind of how your shoulders are forced to fall out to the side because you're on the block and it's allowing you to kind of curl the opposite way. Go ahead and inhale your arms up and over your head. So big full reach. Interlace the fingers and stretch the arms. From there, exhale, bend the elbows to the sides. Notice my arms don't touch and that's okay. But it's this concept that's offering a little bit more pull. Reach the arms all the way away from you and then circle them back down towards the earth. One more time, inhale up and over your head. Big reach. Exhale, bend the elbows right by the ears, hold here. And then reach straight out, exhale down, and then rest. Take three more breaths on your blocks, inhale, breathe in. Exhale as you breathe out. Inhale as you breathe in. Exhale as you breathe out. One more time, inhale, breath in. And then exhale your breath out. You're simply gonna raise your head, remove the block that's under the head, put it next to you. Then you're gonna use your forearms, prop yourself up, remove the block that's under your back, put it next to you, and then lay flat. Once you lay flat, I just want you to notice these small changes in your back, neck, and shoulders. And then we'll just squeeze our knees towards our chest from there. Slowly, when you're ready, come up to seated. And we're gonna make our way to a standing forward bend. Feet flat. Exhale, fold forward. I want you to fold forward to the point where maybe you take your hands around the back of your legs and then pull in. So this is the reverse motion that we just had our spine in. We were just opening our heart and now we're closing it. Go ahead and inhale, rise all the way to stand, reach up high, big breath. Bend the elbows to the sides, puff the heart. Inhale, reach back up to the sky. 
Exhale, fold forward, hands to toes. Inhale to lift halfway, gaze forward. Exhale, we're gonna take our left foot and we're gonna step it back and we're gonna drop our knee. Take your right hand to your right thigh bone. Inhale, raise your left arm way up into the air. Lean back for me. Exhale, place your left hand on your lower back. Inhale, raise your right arm way up into the air for me. Exhale, place your right arm on your lower back as well. Hug the shoulder bones in, press your heart up and forward. And then exhale, gently step into high plank. Slowly lower your knees your chest and then your chin, and then inhale, press up. Good, exhale, we're gonna pull back to our hands and knees. We're gonna come right into a cow pose, look up. And then we're gonna exhale right through cat. From there, we're gonna walk our knees back about a foot, push our sit bones back, walk our hands forward, lower our chin. Slither forward again, cobra or up dog. So you're gonna notice lots of changes. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Breath out. Press back through your heels, press back through your arms. Go ahead and inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump. Halfway lift and then exhale, fold. Inhale, standing, reach up high into the sky, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows to the sides. Inhale, re-extend the arms. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, take the right foot, step it back, lower the right knee. Place your left hand on your thigh. Inhale, raise your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, circle it around to your lumbar spine. Inhale, raise your left arm up to the sky, big back bend. Exhale, circle it around, hold your back. Inhale, lift your heart, full breath. Exhale, release your hands, step into plank pose. From there, we're gonna lower knees, chest, and then chin. Notice my tailbone is up. Inhale, slither forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale, hands and knees, align the shoulders. Inhale, cow pose, lift the chest. Exhale, cat pose, roll the spine. Inhale, neutralize the spine, walk the knees back a little bit, extend the arms forward, puppy dog pose, chin down. Inhale, slither forward, cobra or up dog, press up. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Shake your head yes, shake it no. Look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift your spine, exhale, fold. This time, you're gonna take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then peel the arms forward. So even though we're folding forward, you're still opening through the chest and the back in this motion. And then inhale, come all the way to stand, reach up high. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift the chest. Inhale, reach up high, big breath. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale again, interlace the fingers behind the back. We're adding that into our sequence. Inhale, hands to shins, lift. Exhale, step the left foot back, find your lunge. Lower the back knee, inhale, right hand to thigh. Inhale, left arm up, around behind you to the low back. Inhale, right arm up around behind you to the low back. Hold your lower back, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, this time pick up the back knee and then gently raise both arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers for humble warrior. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, bow down. Look back at your back foot, try to lower the shoulder down. And then when you're ready, slowly release this left hand down. You're gonna peel your right arm up, but you're gonna open the palm and then pivot the hips. So notice my feet, it's gonna rotate, right foot goes right, left heel drops, lean back, and then exhale, lower, left ear, left shoulder. 
Come back up and around, gently step into high plank. You can lower knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale up, and then again, hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Walk the hands forward or the knees back. Puppy dog pose, booty up, chin down. Inhale, slither forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale, bring it back. Take a full breath in and a breath out. Look forward, step or float. Lengthen your spine halfway. Exhale, interlace the fingers as you fold. Reach the arms over your head. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise all the way to stand. Reach up high again. Bend the elbows, puff the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right into your fold. Again, interlace the fingers behind the back. Pull the arms and now pull your arms towards me, so towards the camera and then open the opposite chest and shoulder. Pull them away from the camera, opening again. And then reset and center, exhale, release the hands down. We'll step our right foot all the way back. We'll lower the knee. We'll place our left hand on our left thigh bone. Inhale, raise the right arm up. Exhale, take it to the lower back. Inhale, take the left arm up. Exhale, take it to the lower back. Inhale, lift your heart up, 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 up. Exhale, release your hands down. Lift your back knee, inhale, crescent this time, rise. Exhale, humble warrior, interlace your fingers. Inhale, heart opener, lean back. Exhale, humble warrior, drop down. Look back at your back foot if it's available. Maybe your head touches the earth. Squeeze your legs together nice and tight. Inhale, come back up through your lunge, reach high. Exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping back gently when you're ready, we're gonna twist our left arm up into the sky. And now spin your feet. So rotate your foot towards the camera, your opposite heel away. Big breath here and take this arm back. Lower your right ear to your right shoulder. Come back up and over, exhale, plank. Again, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale up. Stopping in tabletop on our way back. Aligning the hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, neutral spine. Walk back and forward at the same time. Puppy dog pose, chin down. And now slither forward, stay low. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Hello, puppy. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hey, buddy, how are you? Head back, left and right. From here, we're gonna come down and we're gonna lay on our stomachs. We have another puppy visitor. It's probably because we're doing up dog and cobra. And you're gonna extend your right arm out to the right. You're gonna lay your right ear down and you're gonna press into your left hand. You're gonna roll on. And then as you roll onto your right hip, you're gonna stack the opposite leg on top. From there, you're gonna bend that leg and plant your foot. So you're gonna feel this space and chest opening in the shoulder. You can stay here with this hand. Maybe you take it on top of your thigh or maybe you take it on your lower back. Stay there for three, and open the heart. Two, come back through center, and now I'm gonna roll towards you. So inhale, come on back. Exhale, we're gonna extend out to the nine o'clock through our left hand. Plant the right hand like a push-up, start to roll. So you might be able to see how I plant my foot better on this side. Foot plants down, knee is up. And then from there, this arm can come up. If you have room, you'll interlace your fingers. Maybe this hand lowers or it stays on your quad. Stay here for three, two, and then gently come back through center on one. Inhale, we're gonna find this kind of slither motion. So you're gonna use your fingertips, they're gonna come off your mat. You're gonna inhale, lift up, kind of like you're a snake. Exhale, move left, move right, 
and then come back to center. And then we're gonna go right, left, inhale back to center, open the heart, bend your knees, heels towards your head, lift your chest, exhale, release your heart and your legs. And then we're very gently gonna press back to child's pose just to reset the body. So hips to heels, forehead down. And then allow yourself to breathe in and out slowly. Good, from there we're gonna gently make our way up to our tabletop. Inhale, look up for your cow. Exhale into your cat. And then again to that puppy dog pose. We had a couple puppy visitors today. Hands flat, chin down. Slither forward, find your cobra or your up dog. Exhale, pivot back to down dog. Good, we're gonna go ahead and step our right foot forward. Pivot your back heel down, come up with straight legs. So it's a little bit wider than a pyramid pose, but it's shorter than a warrior one. We're gonna work on reverse prayer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward, arms out to the sides, okay? And then you're gonna start to bend the elbows, placing the palms together right at the upper back. I'm gonna rotate around once I'm done so you can see, and then I'm gonna try to press together. Now some of you can stay standing and easily just kinda of wiggle, 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 but I'm pretty tight through my shoulders, so for me, if I come forward and reach, it gives me more room. Now maybe you're down here and you're working at your low back. Ideally though, you're right here in the middle of your spine. Press, and then come up. So I'll rotate around so you can see that. So I'm pressing my palms together opening my heart. So this is a very hard mudra. It's not easy. And as you press together, I want you just to lift your heart for stargazer pose. So physically, you shouldn't feel much in the lower body, but you should feel a whole lot in the back body. Try to stay here for three as you pick up your heart. Two, and then see if you can hold your bind in the palms as we come forward. If you're dying, you can interlace opposite forearms or opposite triceps, okay? So if it's too much, please don't stay there. And then as we take this variation of pyramid, just relax the head down. Whether you're in reverse prayer or holding your forearms, inhale, slowly come up. Good, exhale, we're gonna roll the shoulders down and back. Just step forward to the top of your mat. I want you to inhale, raise both arms high to the sky. Exhale again, bend the elbows, lift your heart forward. Inhale, reach back up to the sky. Exhale as you fold, interlace the fingers behind the tailbone. Inhale, pull, exhale, fold. Inhale, pull, exhale, fold. And then slowly release your hands. Lift halfway. Exhale, step into down dog. As you push back to down dog, you should notice that your pecs, the front of your chest, are feeling a lot more open. Let's go ahead and step our left foot forward. Our right foot's gonna step in, so we're at a staggered stance, and then inhale, come up. So again, you can either be grabbing reverse or opposite forearms, maybe triceps or elbows, or if you have a little trouble with that prayer bind, follow me, we're gonna hinge forward, reach our arms out wide, Exhale, rotate through the shoulder. So it's an internal rotation because the thumb goes down and then press the palms from there. And then inhale, come on back up. And ideally from there, eventually the pinkies and the index fingers, all your fingers are gonna make their way up your spine closer to your neck. Inhale, press the palms, lift the heart. Good, stay here. And if you can hold this bind, hold it. The bottoms of my um, hands have trouble pressing too. So if the heels of your hands aren't connected, it's okay. We're all working on that. And then exhale, you'll fold down. Again, soft knee. Let your heart fold. For three, head is relaxed. Two. And then with your bind, inhale, come up. Raise your arms up. 
Exhale your hands to heart center and then take another step forward. Good, so now you're at the top of your mat and I want you to feel this great space that you've created. So I'm gonna face you, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach our arms away from each other. So allow the arms to extend. So this is hyperextension because my chest is coming too far forward and my hands are past my alignment. This is my neutral alignment. So I feel the sensation, but it's not too strong. Now what I want you to do is go a little bit beyond, pull and squeeze, and then return to neutral. Keep your spine straight as you do this. Go ahead and pull, 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 and then return to neutral. Last time, pull, pull, pull. Maybe the backs of our hands eventually decide to touch, right? And then return to neutral. Exhale, give yourself a hug. So reverse that motion, squeeze. Reach out wide so you can give yourself a hug with the opposite arm on top. Squeeze. So again, we're just countering that movement. Reach out wide as far as you can. Reach back as far as you can. Push, 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 but don't lose the alignment in your hips. Bring yourself back to neutral and then just relax your arms down. Good, so you should feel some heat right here, all right? This region of our body should feel open. From here, I want you to make your way to seated. So you're gonna slowly grab your block again, and we're gonna place it back under our spine, but maybe we change the height. So I first worked with this height, but I'm gonna try my second height, all right? And I'm gonna try the lower height for my head. So it's not the middle of the back, it's not the lower back, it's more of the middle to upper. So thoracic region below cervical. So again, you should see my ribs are kind of starting to roll over the block and then my head is starting to find this bottom block. Now, if you have cervical, sp cervical spine pain, meaning your neck is injured or you don't feel well, definitely take this block. And some people even put it on the highest height. And this feels super yummy, and I could stay here all day. Or you can lower it down to the lowest height. Still feels yummy, but I probably couldn't be here all day. I'm gonna go ahead and extend my legs out for this version as my arms extend. So as you lay on your blocks, your pillows, or your folded up blankets, I want you to reach your arms straight out three o'clock and nine o'clock and just pause. Relax the whole pelvis and the hips. If your knees are bent, that's totally fine. And I want you to notice any changes. So I first noticed that right away in this practice, there's no way I could have laid like this in the very beginning. But now I could probably stay and feel comfortable. I want you to also become aware of the tension that could be left behind from opening up so much in the front of our body and how your body feels right now. As we do heart opening sequences, we start to notice where we hold pain and where we hold tension, but we also start to notice where we hold and we don't release our emotion. So maybe here you're allowing your eyes to close and you're emotionally connecting to yourself. How do you feel? What makes you happy? Are you a living your life in a joyful manner and do you feel successful? Questions we tend to ask others that we don't ask ourselves. Take three more deep breaths here on your own. So fill up with a ton of air and then push the air out. Fill up with a ton of air. Exhale it out. And then on your next breath, take a big inhale. Open your mouth wide and sigh. You'll raise your head as you grab the block remove it, remove the block under your spine. And then I just want you to lay fully flat, noticing the sensations now. It's almost like you could lay easily on the earth because your back is so relaxed from opening the front of the body. I want you to bend your knees and plant your feet. Place your hands by your side, inhale, raise your pelvis up, exhale, walk your shoulders under your back. Palms flat, toes face forward, knees are in alignment. As you take this gentle back bend, it's more opening the lower front of the body versus the heart, but it's allowing the heart to lift and the ribs to lift, but also hug the ribs back in. Exhale, slowly lower down. 
Now, if you really want to, you can work into a deeper back bend. I'm not gonna walk you through those steps, so if you don't have a back bending practice, I recommend staying right here. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, raise our arms up. Exhale, plant the hands by the ears, elbow points up. Push into your feet and then lift your heart. Press your chest back through your arms. So try not to stay here. Try to press, which opens the heart even more. For three, two, exhale, slowly bend if you're all the way up. Tuck the chin. We're all in bridge pose now, stay to Bandasana. And then we slowly lower down. Place your hands on your pelvis to rest. Don't hug your knees in right away. Exhale, now allow your knees to come to your chest and squeeze them in tight. Press down through the lumbar spine as you hug your knees in and then pull your shoulders back and down, maybe even close your eyes. On your next breath, we're gonna simply roll to one side or sit straight up, it's up to you. And I want you to find a neutral seat. As we find this comfortable seat, I want you to see if you can sit up super tall, palms face up, and just close your eyes for a moment, noticing the small changes in your heart and in your chest. From here, we're gonna bring our right hand to our heart and our left hand to our belly. And I want you just to kind of connect with the beating of your heart. So as you inhale and exhale, notice those feelings and sensations and where you start to feel more connected and more open. Where can you sit up straighter in your life? Where can you feel more confident? Where can you allow your heart to open? And notice how this practice not only relates to this movement, but it relates to your life. So I encourage you to find those small changes. Where can you pull your shoulders back and walk into a room and feel like you are ready to run the show? Where can you allow yourself to do simple everyday tasks and maintain your correct posture with your heart open? And then who or what, even yourself, can you allow your heart to open a little bit more to offer self-love but also give love? As we blink our eyes back open, bring your hands to your heart center. Thank yourself for all this heart opening. And as we bow forwards towards the earth, namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining in this practice today. And you might notice later that you have some tension in your chest and shoulders, that your back feels like you did work because you did. Heart opening is super focused on one area of the body and it's also very challenging. So thank you for challenging yourself today and opening your heart. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I'm happy to help you. Thank you.